Hello, wonderful, shining Pisces. I am so happy to finally see you virtually. I finally got my recording studio set up. I really hope you like it. These are my paintings in the background. Um, and thank you so much for being patient with me. I've been kind of a week behind because of this whole process. So, um, I really appreciate you. My usual spiel is that um, my readings are general. I work with the tarot and the oracle and the messages and the characters and all of that can all be reversed. So um, this might not resonate with all of you, but hopefully the most important messages get out there. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then it might be, then it might give you more insight into another people or a group of people in your life. So without further ado, let's get started. I've been doing these astrological summaries in the beginning of my videos, but I'm just going to really gloss over it um, because I'm just getting all sorts of intuitive messages that take up most of the video. So um, overall, it's a really big month astrologically because of Mercury retrograde and Uranus changing signs. So there's probably, you might feel kind of like pulled in two different directions, kind of like reflecting on past things while feeling pulled and embracing this new wonderful future of yours Pisces and there's going to be um some you might find that some things in March will be like wrapping up um that you've been kind of like waiting for Mercury retrograde is really great for completing things and then there's going to be this whole other focus on yourself and your own needs and your personal environment and you know maybe you know giving yourself makeover makeover giving your home makeover just feeling more in your own skin and surrounding yourself with things that make you feel comfortable and more at home yeah this is a really good time to be uh there will be really great changes in your finances if there haven't been already and you might, at near the end of the month, you might have some like really great news financially, um, personally, or maybe your partner will get really great news. Um, you might be starting to create new sources of income for yourself. And then at the end of the month, Venus comes into your first house, which is really great for, you know, making you popular, um, creating new harmonious relationships. And just an overall sense of well-being and feeling good and having good feeling relationships and um, just being a magnet and drawing really amazing experiences and people to you. So without further ado, let's get into the card reading. And um, I shovel the cards right before I press record just for, for less distraction and everything. I find it to be quite, <laughs> quite noisy um with my microphone so um and so I do shuffle these these are all intuitive messages I don't hand pick them they they come out uh during my meditation with you and um I'm getting this feeling Pisces that you're feeling a little bit confused and a little bit you've gotten yourself in a little bit of a wobble um you might be at a crossroads with some decisions maybe you don't really know from up or down and this could be in your relationship personally spiritually in your career or work um but yeah I just overall feel and sense that you're just feeling really confused about about something so let's get let's get some clarity I I feel like overall you have been having a really great, really great experiences and really great insights and awakenings on your spiritual journey. And I think you just somehow got a little bit off balance. You, I think you just kind of let just one little thing get your attention and just just something happened and and now you're feeling like why why did I let that like waste my time nothing is really a waste of time but that's kind of how you're feeling like how dare you or how dare this thing 
um, Pisces, I, off. I'm feeling like you're kind of having that moment of like having two steps forward, two steps back, one step forward, two steps back, that, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of dance. And I feel like you're feeling kind of confused and frustrated and, um, you've just kind of lost your center. So I feel like this is mostly like an internal thing. I think this is mostly your psychology, although this could be, like I said, um, a person, a group of people, a specific relationship, um, your career, your work, um, just any sort of like weird kind of mishap. I mean, we do have Mercury retrograde and that can cause um, miscommunication, um, tech things kind of going off the charts, um, electronics not working as they should be. Um, and so you're kind of starting to move out of this confusion and frustration and you come to understand that their life just has its own life cycles and its own seasons and sometimes things are really really great and then other times you just kind of have to go with emotions and kind of laugh about it um not to not to minimize what you've been going through but to just to just have a sense of light about certain things if if that's possible. Um, and if not, just, just understanding that sometimes these hap these things happen sometimes. And really the key for you is to, when, when things go wrong in our life, we can tend to want to kind of hold on to the things that are working or that we feel that are kind of like slipping through our fingers and we kind of want to grab on more. And unfortunately, sometimes, most of the time maybe, um, that tends to make things worse. And the best thing that we can do is to come to our own place of self-refuge, to become still inside of ourselves. And this is the thing that's gonna bring us back to our own sovereignty and to our own our own sense of independence and abundance and security and safety and stability and you're learning that everything has a balance like there's a give and take of of everything and um Okay, so basically I'm getting that, I'm getting that, like, just recently, these past few weeks, you have been on such a high, like, things have been going so amazing. Um, maybe you quite haven't made that 360 degree, like, revolution in your life, but, but at least inside, maybe you have, but at least inside, you have been feeling incredible. And... And just recently, there has been kind of like this hiccup or bump in the road. And you're just kind of like, what happened? Like, things were going so well. I don't get it. And um, and then that kind of made you kind of go down in a negative spiral, maybe. Maybe. And, and then it kind of had you fighting like, well, am I doing something wrong? Or... Um, you know, just kind of like fighting with yourself, maybe if it, if this isn't about anyone else, maybe you were just kind of like fighting with yourself and being like, well, was there something I was doing wrong or like, like what happened? And, um, and this could have like propelled you in, um, or, or triggered you maybe, maybe this was a big trigger of yours that is just happening so that you can heal it. And I mean, you are a water sign, so maybe like, maybe you had like all these fires that were kind of going off and there was so much that was kind of, that just kind of like threw you off. 
where you kind of felt like a deer in the headlights and you didn't know which to focus on first. And this kind of put you into more of an agitated state and kind of fighting with it. And now, or you're about to understand that when these types of things happen, to know that you didn't do anything wrong, that this is just kind of like the cycle of life sometimes, and it's all here to help you to heal parts of yourself even more. And if that's not the case, then, um, then, you know, like these things just kind of happen sometimes. And it's, it's your job to maintain your, your, your alignment and to keep that positive focus and, um, and, and basically like not judging yourself when things go wrong, to not take it personally and to, yeah, I think that, I think that was, I think that could have been the major hiccup, which caused all of this was that there, there started to, there, things started to happen that weren't ideal. And then you started to, um, judge yourself, to criticize yourself. And, and this changed, perhaps changed your demeanor and how you associated with other people. And it just kind of, um, caused some sort of tension or uncomfortableness that, that, that you didn't want. And, um, and so you're, you're, you're learning how to, you know, to ride the wave more, to go with the flow more, to not take it personally and to, to become still when those things happen and to, to rebalance yourself, to realign yourself. And when you do that, things go along a lot more smoother. Okay. Um, I feel like that was a very specific message. Let's get into your advice, your last three cards of advice for the week. Um, you got a yes card, Pisces. So I think this is Yes, you you are doing things right. You are on the right track. And like I said, don't don't take it personally, don't judge yourself, don't um take score too soon. The star mother, how can you mother yourself? How can you be kinder to yourself and inner temple knowing that you are an inner temple? Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So it doesn't matter what I say, what other people say, always tune into your heart and what your heart is telling you, what the truth of who you are, the truth of the universe, the truth of other people or circumstances, your, your guidance is perfect. You have a perfect guidance system. Okay, Pisces, you have done nothing wrong. Everything is going perfect. Sometimes, um, when we're so confused and trying to figure things out, sometimes the path of least resistance is to just be like, okay, I, I'm, I don't even want to try to figure this out. All, all I want to do is just to realign with me and who I am. And I know that more clarity will come when I get into that state and I will find my alignment again and things will start to flow in the way that I want them to flow. And you, you are a magician and sorcerer or Pisces. Okay. And, um, there are things that are happening on deeper levels that are, that are helping you. And it might not seem like it's trying to help you, but, um, but, but really it, it is, <laughs> um, I don't want to belittle anything that you've, that you've experienced, but, but when I personally look back, on all the things that went wrong in my life, they were actually either trying to warn me to just kind of slow down and think about stuff, or um, it was helping me to really heal an aspect of myself that maybe I had suppressed. 
So take that as you may. If you want to follow me into the deep dive, the your extended reading, I'm <laughs> more than happy to see you over there. But if this is where we part ways, then I wish you nothing but peace, love, and harmony, harmony Pisces. Bye. Take care. Mwah.